Hey guys, I'm Jilly. Welcome to my channel, Play Candy. I really hope that you enjoy watching this video and I'll see you at the end. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be making Dreamy her very own bedroom. I've made one bedroom before, which I haven't actually shown on my channel yet. It's a Barbie doll bedroom, um, but I'll show you that in the future. For now, I'm going to be putting up this uh, crybaby bedroom. So the first thing I need to do is cut out my walls and my floor and I'm using this white foam board and I'm cutting it out to the size of the wallpaper sheet that I have here. Now this is a sheet of um, really nice scrapbook paper that I got from my hobby craft and I'm cutting the foam board exactly to that size. Now I've got these two printouts which I just printed off of copyright free um, images off of the internet and I've got some white wooden flooring and dark wooden flooring but I'm going for white for Dreamy because she's all white so I'm going to be trying to make the bedroom in her colours. So I'm cutting out some flooring and I'm going to just stick these pieces to my flooring just with a glue stick. As you can see my boarding doesn't quite fit but I've got a free edge there that will be covered up with a bed so hopefully you won't notice the join edges too much. So here I am just sticking all the pieces down, it doesn't take very long and here is my wallpaper sheet, this is the scrapbook paper sheet and I'm also going to just glue that down with a glue stick, make sure I've got it nice and covered and then I'm going to glue on my um, walls once I have finished cutting out a window. So this is going to be the wall to the left hand side and I want to make a little window. I'm going to make it uh, clear, put some fake glass in as well. And now I'm using some hot glue just to stick my floor and my walls in place. This was so fiddly for me to do because I'm working around my camera. What I need is a new camera tripod to stand my camera out of the way because I couldn't reach around the camera very easily. So I'm sorry if it looks a bit scruffily made, guys. I did struggle with my camera. So anyway, I have got my base of my room in place. I'm now going to make Dreamy a bed. So again, I'm just using some foam board. I've cut it to size and I'm going to put some little edges on it just so that it can stand on its own. I was originally going to stick it to the side of the wall. So I just put one of these edges on, but I decided to make it freestanding in the end. So I've put edges all around so that uh, my bed can be moved around the room if I decide to change it. So here I am, I'm going to make a little um, circular bed head, as you can see I just used my tea mug to make a little circular shape and I'm going to stick this really sweet felt um, material with some hot glue onto my bed head and then I just cut it out and I'm going to use the same felt to go down on the base of my bed just as like a little mattress covering. I'm going to cover it all with a duvet and some pillows but I just want it to look quite nice and pretty the little bits that might be seen throughout. So here's the base of my bed, eek, and I'm getting stuck in the glue and then I'll just cut that out and stick my bed head on and as you can see I haven't stuck a, another edge on there but I will in just a moment. Now this is just a laminating pocket pouch which I've run through the laminator to make a clear sheet of plastic and I'm going to stick that on the outside of my window. This is just a copyright free image again that I printed off of the internet of a garden and I'm going to use that outside my window just to make a nice scenery for when, you're, when Dreamy's looking outside of her curtains. This is a little shape I've cut out for the windowsill. I'll stick it in place in a moment but I'm just going to stick up some little window dividers here first. So once those are all in place, I will stick on my windowsill. Now this is my bed all complete and I'm just going to pop it into that corner for now. Now I'm going to make a little storage unit bench. So I was going to make a dressing table with some little drawers, but 
I wasn't very good at those. I'll have to give those a little bit more practice. So for this one, I ended up adapting it into a little sitting bench. I'm gonna put some little um, felt cushions on there and I'm gonna make some little storage boxes to go underneath where Dreamy can store all her little toys. So here we are, I've got my bench together. I'm gonna to make two little felt cushions to sit on there. And I'll also make a nice squishy cushion to go on top afterwards. But there we have it, nice and simple. And I'm gonna put my storage boxes underneath. This bench can go either on that wall or against the other wall. I'm gonna stick on some shelving units onto the wall just to store some nice little decorative pieces. And another shelf sitting adjacent to that one. And here we go guys, our base of our room is coming together nicely. So I'm gonna just make my little storage boxes out of uh, my foam board again. guys two little storage boxes I will decorate those with some little um, front pictures in a moment and they can sit underneath there nice and neatly now I'm gonna make some bedding I've got this really lovely material it's actually a little Disney inspired um, material and lovely and colorful all the right colors for dreamy so I'm just gonna make a little rectangular pocket I'm gonna fill it with some toy stuffing and then I'm gonna sew the top um, gap shut and that's as simple as it is to make our quilt. Now I'm going to make two little cushions in a similar way, just make uh, two little rectangle pockets, fill it with some stuffing, and then we can seal the edges shut with a little seam. And there we have it guys, our quilt and our two cushions ready made. So here it is guys, just to show you a little bit uh, more closely, here's our little quilt and our little cushions can just sit side by side or you can stack them on top of each other. You can see the little Disney pictures on top, we've got some little aerial um, shells and we've got some snow white apples and just all the sweet little colours. I like them side by side. So there we have it, that looks nice and cosy. And now I'm going to make another cushion using another cute little fabric in similar colours and this is just going to be a long little um, sausage cushion to sit on top of our bench. Now I'm using the same fabric to make some curtains. So I've cut some rectangles out and I'm just folding in the seams and running the machine along them just so we've got no loose fraying edges. And then what I'm going to do is run a really loose stitch along the top so that I can pull one stitch and gather it in so that it looks like a curtain and then I'll tie a knot in those edges so that it doesn't loosen off. I'm then going to use some of these split rings, some or jump rings, and I'm going to pop them, secure them onto the top of my curtain all the way along and these are going to act as my little curtain runner hooks. So here you can just about see them guys, I've got them running along the top of each curtain. Those are my curtain hooks. And now I'm going to use a really thin wooden dowel and that's going to be my curtain pole. So I'm going to attach my curtains through all the jump rings, there they go, they slide along nice and easily so we'll be able to draw the curtains open and shut. And then I'm going to secure it to the top of my window. Make sure you've got it in the right place. I want my curtains sitting just above my windowsill. So I've marked out where I want to stick them. And then I'm using these slightly thicker little snipped off bits of wooden dowel. And I'm going to attach those to the walls. And onto those, our curtain pole can be attached. Again, just with some hot glue. your little pole into place and there we have it guys curtains ready made ready to open and shut 
These were the first time I was making these curtains and I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. They look really cute. Okay, I also wanted to make some little tie backs. So I've used one of these little hat pins, bent it round, they bend really easily. And then I've just hot glued it to the side of the wall. I haven't recorded this bit, it's very annoying. I've stuck it with some hot glue onto the wall and then just covered it with a bit of blue ribbon. Now I'm going to get to work on my little decorative wall pieces. So these are all little um, unicorn inspired pieces. I've bought them in one of these little crafting wooden trays. I'm going to empty this out and then I'm going to use this tray painted up and it can be used as a wall shelf. So I'm going to get to work painting all my little pieces up in my dreamy colours of blue, yellow and pink and white. Okay guys, we're about done with all the painting now. Now I'm going to make a little flower decoration. I'm going to use one of each of these little flowers. I'm using one of these paint saving pots. I'm gonna remove the lid and then I'm gonna decorate it with a little piece of this pink gingham um, ribbon, which is really sweet. And I'm going to just hot glue it around the edges. And once I've done this, I'm going to put some of my little white toy stuffing inside just to fill it up. And then I'm going to make my little flower decoration. I'm going to snip the edges of wire off. And I'm just going to take one stem of each of these. I've got a little rose here. And then I'm also using one of my little silver pearl decorative bits. And I'm going to wrap it around the whole flower decoration. And then I will hot glue it in place at the bottom of our vase. there we have it guys what do you think okay I'm now going to start attaching all of my little decorations to my house so this is our little wooden shelf going up on the wall let's slide our bed into place and then we can put our little bedding on here are our cushions here's our storage bench and let's decorate up our little storage boxes with some of our painted wooden shapes and then we can fill these up with some of Dreamy's toys and they can be stored underneath that little storage bench so there's Dreamy's little winged uh, little blanket and we've also got some of our little crybaby toys that we can store away in our boxes Oh, one of our special edition bib bows and there they go underneath the bench nice and neatly with a little cushion on top now here we've got our very special golden edition uh, bow and pacifier they can go on the shelf with our little flower vase and then over here we can pop a couple of little books and we can finish off our shelf with a cute little toy I'm now going to stick some of my little wooden shapes and toys into the little wooden shelf on the book shelf on the wall. A little alarm clock, we've got a little unicorn. And I'm just going to stick a few more little toys on the shelves. And then I'm going to put my wall art up onto the wall. Here's our little magic sticker. Oops, it's gone a bit skew. Try and straighten it. And my little rainbow. And I think I'm actually going to put that little Tinkerbell on the wall as well because she will look really cute with those. So there we have it guys, our wall art is all complete. I've got a little metal, white metal hanging heart to decorate our curtain pole. We'll put a little golden teddy in Dreamy's bed and we even have a little doll's house for her. This is one of my Nanables toys. Look at it, it's in a unicorn shape so I think it'll be perfect as Dreamy's little toy dollhouse
and then I'm gonna add one more little decorative feature to the room and that's this lovely little rug I've got this lovely warm blue fleecy material and I'm going to just decorate it up with this lovely little pink ribbon all around the edges to make a nice rug for the center of Dreamy's room just to make it a bit more cozy and there we have it now our final feature for our room is these cute little fairy lights so I'm going to stick these little twinkling hearts all the way around the room and there they are guys and now let's light them up so I think this really is a sweet little magical bedroom for a little unicorn. So close your eyes, Dreamy. Surprise! What do you guys think? Do you think Dreamy likes her bedroom? I think it's an awesome bedroom for a unicorn. She's having a good look around. And I think she likes it, guys. So I'm just going to show you around the room one more time now that it's all finished. Here is our wall, our shelves with all our little decorations. We've got our lovely wallpaper. We've got our curtains which actually open and shut with a window outside. We've got all our lovely bedding, all our cushions. We've got our little storage boxes ready to put some toys in. So this was the first bedroom I've made guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you think it looks sweet, if you like it and also let me have an idea of whose bedroom you would like to see me make next. I'm going to leave you with a few photos of Dreamy's bedroom and right at the end I'm going to show you a couple of pictures with the lights turned out. I really hope you enjoyed it guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you really soon. Lots of love guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, it'll notify you as soon as I release a new video. Well guys, I'm sending you loads of love for now and I'll see you all really soon. Lots of love guys. Bye bye.